Guys, can you seriously believe that the summer is over? We're in September now and another month has passed since I last spoke to you about my finished favorites. Anyway, hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dave Cat, and welcome back to once again, another my finish favorites video. If you're new around here and not sure what's going on, basically at the start of every single month, I come and report to you guys with my finished favorite things that I have come across over the past 30 or 31 days. But this month there is a little bit of a twist because today I have to tell you guys about a company to avoid. So there's a new section in my finished favorites. I have my favorite stuff and then I have something which I will never ever recommend as long as I have breath in my lungs. But anyway, now you guys are caught up, you know what's going on. Let's dive into my first favorite for August. Now this month there are a lot of like food and drink favorites. I guess I've been been experimenting a little bit. So my first finished favorite for this month is actually a drink. And this is something that I came across at Tubicon this year. They had a table full of snacks and drinks and all kinds of good stuff. And I saw this and I was like, well, I've never tried that. Let's give it a go. So this is Nobe Aloe Vera. This is the Mansikka, the, the strawberry f flavor. And oh, man, I have to tell you, when I first tried this, I, ha I actually had a, a few like mixed emotions because this is so different to anything that I've tried before. And I've actually been saving this bottle since Tubicon <laughs> because I was worried I wouldn't be able to get it anywhere else and then I wouldn't have it to show you in a video. But aside from the flavor, which is really nice, strawberry is always my favorite. This has a really kind of strange, unique selling point, which is it has little bits of aloe vera in it. This is gonna be a little gross, but I'm gonna show you what I mean. If you see on the tip of my thumb there, you can see a little kind of ball of aloe vera, basically. So when you take a sip of this, you actually get a mouthful of these little aloe vera balls or whatever. And at first I have to say, I was like, what is going on? Is this like, has it gone bad or something? But after the first sip and then I carried on, I was like, I actually quite like this experience. Now I've tried a couple of the other flavors and the strawberry one is by far my favorite. I can't remember exactly how much they are in the shops, but they're, they're not like the cheapest thing on the shelf. Now strictly this isn't, finish because this is actually made in South Korea. <laughs> You're playing fast and loose with the term Finnish favorites, Dave, I know. <laughs> but oddly enough, this is actually only available in Nordic countries. So it's a Nordic favorite, let's say. But anyway, really good flavor little bit of a different experience when you're you're having a drink with the little bits. It's, it's kind of like a bubble tea. If you've ever had one of those, it's kind of like that it's similar kind of experience. And yeah, just all around pretty, pretty good. And my next thing is actually a phone case, which you can't really see what's going on when it's in the packaging. So I'm gonna get it out and, sh and show it to you, of course. So this phone case is a little bit special. It's made by a company called Lastu and they make really interesting phone cases, but it's it's not just the phone case that I'm interested in. I think the company as a whole is really cool. I have actually had it on my phone for a little while, but I, I wanted to show you the packaging. I thought it was kind of kind of nice. Although it does say open by pulling on the rope, but there was no, there was no rope on mine. What the hell, Lastu? <laughs> so here's my Lastu phone case, and I just freaking love this thing. So maybe you can see I've had mine engraved with my my logo and it's got a piece of wood here which is which is real wood and that is encased by a really good quality like silicone slash hard plastic outer bit and i just think this is so nice to be able to personalize your case have wood instead of like a bunch of plastic and i chose this darker wood but there are uh, loads of different finishes that you can get and as i said the case is great and i really really like it but i also like what the company stands for and also the way that they kind of conduct themselves on, on social media at least. So on their website it says, why choose Lastu? Lastu products are proudly made in Northern Finland. We design and manufacture our products from start to finish. Products are polished and waxed by hand several times to enable highest quality. Lastu is the world's only cover manufacturer that uses wood from the Finnish sawmill. And at the end here, it says, we do not own a conveyor belt. We manufacture each product individually. We know where the materials come from. We monitor our production. We support the plantation of trees and the packaging we use is recycled cardboard. Now I have to say that the phone case itself is a little bit on the expensive side. It's about 35 euros if you want it personalized like I have with my logo. 
go. But that being said, when you break that 35 euros down, is it really that expensive? Because first of all, you're supporting a Finnish company when in a in an industry which is probably mostly based in China and they just pump out these like plastic, hard plastic covers. So you're supporting a local and thoughtful company and you get a kick-ass case which can come personalized if you want. Now, of course, you can go to the store, maybe get something similar for 10, 15 euros maybe, but I think it's worth the extra 15 or 20 euros to be a little bit more thoughtful when it comes to buying a product like this. And Lastu actually have their own YouTube channel and they make some really nice looking videos as well. I don't know, I just like everything about them and they've got all kinds of different products like laptop sleeves and things like that. So I'll probably be buying some other stuff from them. Really, really cool company, really nice case. Let's move on. So the next one I actually came across because of cat's excitement when we saw it in the supermarket and that is Valio Fanny. I'm so mature. So from what I understand, this is like a, a chocolate pudding, which used to be available a long, long time ago. And now Valio have brought it back due to high demand. I don't know if it's like for a little while only or if it's back all the time now, but anyway, it's back. And we we're in the supermarket and we came across it and then Kat just kind of freaked out a little bit and was like, we gotta have this, we gotta try this. And I'm really glad we did because it is so good. Valio, why? the hell did you ever get rid of this from stores? So yeah, basically it's a, a chocolate pudding and it is delicious. It's it's reasonably thick, but also, I don't know, quite quite runny in a way for pudding. Although they call it, they call it chocolate milk. This is, this, this ain't milk. But you do have to be a little bit careful with this because you could probably eat or drink or whatever you do with this. You could probably drink the whole thing in one go if you're, if you're not careful, because it is just, mm, oh, it tastes so good. Oh, I haven't had this since the first time I tried it. Now I'm just remembering exactly how good this is. Ah, oh. sorry, I almost forgot you guys were there. But I think this is perfect for when you have a little bit of a sweet tooth or a craving or something. You don't want too much, but you can just pour a little bit out and satisfy that craving. And it, it doesn't break the bank like this one from a K supermarket was one euro 89. So I think, I think that's pretty reasonable. Love it, love it. Ugh. Now, before I get onto my, my one to avoid, this is probably my favorite. If I had to pick a favorite of my favorites, for this month, this would be it. And this is by far my favorite Finnish ice cream that I've tried up until now. And oh, that, isn't it so so attractive with the ice? And this is Kolmen Kavarin Yatel. So three, the three friends ice cream. Now, now although all the, the information and the story is in Finnish, from what I understand, uh, the, this is made by a, a group of three friends. Well, I doubt these days that they stood there over the ice cream. I don't know how you make ice cream, but I, I picture them doing this with <laughs> something. I doubt they're doing that anymore, but, but still. I think the story is really nice, but the ice cream is even better. Now, there are a lot of different flavors of this. I've tried a couple, but this is by far the best. This is the, the coconut and chocolate flavor. Kukos ya sukla. And now I have to try it on the video so you don't think I'm lying. Now, the reason that I like this so much is because it's a super good quality ice cream, tastes amazing, but what really sold me on it was the, the chocolate chunks that are in this are massive. You know, sometimes you get chocolate chips or something in an ice cream, but this is like proper chunks of chocolate and it just, oh, it's so good. Now I have to dig around to try and find one of these chocolate chunks. Oh no, I have to eat more of it. I want to call this like the Ben and Jerry's of Finland. And just like Ben and Jerry's, this isn't the cheapest ice cream you'll find in the freezer. This one was five euros 75, but I did check the Ben and Jerry's, which was more like 650 or over seven euros sometimes. And honestly, I think this is better than Ben and Jerry's. And again, support, support local, smaller, smaller businesses. I like it, especially when they make such damn good products. So if you haven't tried this ice cream yet, do yourself a favor. Next time you're in the store, pick up a tub and thank me later. So that sound was actually my microphone breaking 
and then I continued to, to finish the video with a broken microphone and no audio. So I'm having to redo it now. And as you can see, I'm no longer in the same place. We came over to Sweden for a wedding. So now I'm coming to you from Sweden. Hello. <laughs> Fortunately, all that is left to talk about is the company to avoid, in my opinion. So definitely not a Finnish favorite, more like a Finnish failure. And this company is called Paco Kumpila. I think that's how you pronounce it at least. And basically it is a, a van rental company, like a, a self-drive van rental company. You hire the car, you move whatever you need to move and then you, you take it back. Quite a simple, simple operation they run, or at least you would think so. So we rented a van and it was something like 40 euros for the time that we needed it. I think it was something like three hours. We thought that was quite reasonable. And we checked that against another van rental company. I think it's or something like that and that was 60 euros for let's say three hours I think it was three or four hours of course you go with the cheaper option you think there can't be that much difference but basically when we went to move Kat's dad went to pick up the van there was no one in the office he had to ring a number that was on the door no one answered for like four five six seven times of him ringing in the end he got through to someone and they were like oh uh, yeah just go to the van and the key should be in there somewhere so he searched around a car park eventually found the van and the key was in there but the van oh my god there may as well not have been a windscreen there were that many cracks on it like all the way across like two or three just giant cracks we were honestly worried if we went over a big bump it would just completely shatter but the best part of this van the back doors that open and you load the stuff in were just a joke we we opened one fine and then the way to open the next one where there's usually like a mechanism which you open the door in the normal way there was like a spanner which you then had to pull and then that made the the mechanism mechanism move and then open the door it was ridiculous and it was just in the worst shape ever and although i haven't used paco ovelet as a as a van rental company but i do see the vans driving around sometimes and they're all nice nice vans with the the branding on the side and it just makes me wonder perhaps I should have spent the extra 20 euros and felt like I wasn't gonna die so Paco Kumpilla not recommended that gets the Dave Cad what's the opposite of seal of approval I don't know <laughs> now I've got to calm down but anyway guys that is about it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it maybe you've gotten a tip or two to go and try something new and I think in the comment sections to these videos we should make it like a, a hub of cool stuff for other people in Finland to go and check out so if you find anything cool over the past month leave them in the comments and yeah let's have it as like a little gold mine of cool stuff also if you've had a really bad experience with a company here in Finland leave that in the comments below as well and hopefully you can warn someone before they make the same mistake as you me included but with all that said guys if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one see ya